Alright, so I finally got the engine back together with the uh, the cylinder heads ported with the larger valves and the uh, the HO50 valve spring upgrade. There is one thing that I forgot to mention that I wanted to, to bring up is that I did take the time to plug off the uh, the thermactor bump holes. I guess let's just run this engine and uh, see what if any improvements those ported cylinder heads made. Quick look at the uh, two of the spark plugs. That was pretty common on all of them. All right, so here is the results from the last four dyno tests that I did. Uh, this one at the top is the one with the that was completely stuck with the uh, the flat tappet cam and the two barrel intake manifold. This test here was done with uh, everything else the same except for I switched to the uh, the aluminum four barrel intake. And this test here is when I switched over to the non-HO roller cam. And this test here is what I got today. So like I said, it was a pretty nice day to run the engine. Humidity was pretty low at 47%, barometer was at 30.1, and the temperature was at 71. So it was a pretty, a pretty decent day to run the engine. What I'm seeing here is it looks like the torque here, it, it, it dropped a little bit, but Really, that uh, for my dyno, that's test to test variation. I'm gonna say that for all intents and purposes, the torque remained the same. So, but kind of some good news here we picked up about 20 horsepower. And I think, uh, considering we're sticking with this really, really mild camshaft, to have gained 20 horse out of a cylinder head work like that, I think that's pretty. It's not a bad horsepower gain. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with the way that test turned out. And the thing I have to try out next is a set of inch and five eighths long tube headers. I guess that's what we'll try out next time. Okay, we'll see you then.